Okay. Hello everybody, my name is Thomas Astrup and uh, today I would like to talk to you about waste management and uh, the role of waste in relation to resource efficiency and circular economy. First of all, let's consider one of the greatest challenges that we face today. And uh, within a few decades, we are likely to be many more people than we are today, maybe up to 9 to 10 billion people within uh, the coming decades. Uh, what is more a challenge is that uh, the average income of uh, people is likely to increase as well. The so-called global uh, middle class is expected to significantly increase. What this will do is to put even more pressure on uh, consumption of uh, food, resources, raw materials, energy uh, in our society. The great problem with that is that uh, most of the environmental impacts that we see today uh, is one way or the other related to the um, consumption of resources uh, that we have in society. Most of you have probably seen uh, figures uh, like this here illustrating that in order to produce the goods and services that we want in society, we need raw materials. And in order to get those, we extract natural resources from the environment. After we are finished with uh, using our goods and uh, the services, uh, we produce waste. Now, in order to be resource efficient, a resource efficient society, we need to channel these uh, waste and the resources in waste back into the economy, back into industry, and utilize those as uh, raw materials. But as you can probably imagine, that the quality and the composition of these waste materials are not exactly the same as the raw materials uh, that we normally use in, uh, in, in industry. So making this uh, full circle is not so simple as it seems. The message is simple, however. We, we should not only use and lose our resources, we should somehow collect and select the, the right resources again for, for recycling. But the thing is, how do we do that? How do we identify and develop the right technologies that provides a sustainable circle here? Well, we need to think about uh, the whole circle. Uh, we need to consider how the, the waste, uh, the resources are collected. We need to think about what kind of uh, secondary resources we can get from this whether this is energy, whether this is nutrients, whether this is uh, raw materials. We need to consider what type of products can be uh, made from these uh, resources. And we need to consider how these new products are used in society again. We also need to think about what kind of emissions are associated with this upgrading and management of the waste resources. But First and foremost, we need to think about what kind of and to which extent do we actually save natural resources, which is what we want if we want to be more resource efficient. In other words, we need to consider the whole circle here, the whole, um, the whole chain of processes and all the emissions and impacts to society and environment. Now consider for a moment that we can actually extract and isolate uh, these uh, these valuable raw materials, uh, it could be aluminum, glass, paper, plastic and other, then we can recycle those and when we do that we save natural resources. We do save um, the environmental impacts, we avoid the environmental impacts associated with the production of these materials and we can almost save 100% of these uh, impacts. Uh, this is illustrated by the red bars here. Uh, on, on this negative axis, we may save uh, most of the impacts associated with production of these uh, uh, materials in the first place. However, the recycling here is not for free. We also need to handle, to manage, to upgrade, to clean the materials. And this causes environmental loads. This is illustrated by the blue bars up here. In some cases, well, we have a lot of savings compared to the loads, but in other cases, we have also significant amount of loads compared with the savings. So the net benefit for society and environment may not be as large as we sometimes think. 
Now, in order to find the right uh, solutions uh, for recycling, we need to, to consider uh, the whole flow of uh, materials and resources in society. We need to quantify the magnitude of these flows and the impact of recycling certain flows for the rest of the system. Um, in this case, for phosphorus, uh, for Denmark, you can imagine zooming in on a tiny flow here may not save the world. Um, but we need to understand the whole picture, the whole system in order to do the, make the right selections in it essentially. We also need to zoom in on the individual technologies, the individual recovery technologies to understand the internal flows, the quality of the individual materials, the residual streams that may be there in order to understand the full impact and the full potentials uh, for recovery of resources. Now, waste is not just waste. Um, certain flows have uh, different qualities. In this case, uh, as an example, paper and plastic. In certain paper and cardboard materials here, we see significantly higher concentrations of problematic substances than in other materials, in other uh, paper flows. The same with plastic and flame retardants in this case. Some some uh, waste and, and, and plastic flows, some paper flows, have better quality for recycling than others. Now, in order to provide um, a full understanding, a full uh, evaluation of these solutions here, at D2 Environment, we use life cycle assessment uh, to provide uh, a consistent evaluation. For almost uh, 15 years, we have developed this uh, life cycle assessment model, EASTEC, which is now one of the most advanced uh, models that we have, dedicated to material flows and resource flows. Here we can model, we can set up uh, the exact same processes that we see in, in real life. We can model the individual processes, we can enter information about the waste qualities, we can follow the uh, the substances throughout the system. Um, as good engineers, we take care in uh, making sure that the mass balances, the material flows, the energy balances, the substance balances match throughout the system. And on this basis, we can provide a consistent and systematic evalu evaluation of, uh, of the recycling solutions that we want to develop and, uh, and, and put out in society. On this basis, we can provide societies and decision makers with a systematic um, um, decision support. Now, it's important to understand that uh, waste cannot save the world, but somehow we need to make the best use of the uh, resources in waste. We, um, we need to have a detailed knowledge and a detailed uh, understanding of the waste qualities, the technologies, the processes involved in order to make the right decisions. And we need to have an evaluation of the full circle, the full chain of processes, in order to make the right decisions. This is what we do at D2 Environment. Thank you for watching.